Hello, this is uh, Father Mike Hennepin from St. Joachim Catholic Church in Costa Mesa, California. Welcome to, in case you missed it, today at Mass we have um, uh, some wonderful readings and, and the one that uh, is more familiar to people, of course, is the one of the responsorial psalm, which is Psalm 23. We often think of, um, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He leads me by verdant pastures, you know, my cup overflows. And so, of course, uh, though that's very famous, but I'd, I'd like to focus today a little bit on the last part of that psalm, which says, uh, only goodness and kindness follows, will follow me all the days of my life. Uh, follow is an interesting word in the Hebrew because it uh, is the same word for, well, to, pers to um, chase. And we often think of someone who chases, like the policeman who ch chases after a criminal, or maybe a dog who chases after a cat. The more uh, appropriate word might be pursue, or to um, to abide by, and so uh, the Lord abides by us in our trials and our ch in our challenges of life. He has not abandoned us, but abandoned us, but promises to abide with us, to uh, to pursue us, to be with us in the great trials of life. In a good example of a trial of life, of course, is our first reading, which is from the book of uh, Daniel, the prophet Daniel. And in the story, we have a Joachim and his wife, Susanna, who was a beautiful woman. They were of well means, they had family and friends, children. Uh, they had all that life would want. And then, of course, two evil judges uh, became lustful after Susanna and, uh, and tried to assault her. And she refused to give in to their demands, and so they accused her publicly of um, an adulterous relationship with a young man in the garden. Everybody believed the judges, of course, and Susanna had no one to, to uh, defend her. So in the crowd, of course, was Daniel, the prophet, a young man of great wisdom, had the wisdom of a person of great age. So uh, he um, invited, was invited to interrogate the judges and he was able to separate them and interrogate them and find and discover their lie. And of course, in this story, we have the innocent who is spared and the, and the um, unjust and the evil who are punished. In our gospel reading today from the Gospel of John, another famous story about uh, the woman caught in the act of adultery whom the scribes and the Pharisees brought to Jesus with the accusation of her adulterous relationship and lifestyle. So, and of course, Jesus responded to their accusations uh, with, let he who is without sin be the first to cast a stone. Of course, they all walked away without, without uh, stoning her because quite possibly they recognized that they were sinners as well as are all of us. So, Neither are we condemned, and in our trials and our tribulations, no matter the lifestyle we find ourselves in, God does not abandon us. He pursues us. He abides with us. He uh, walks with us uh, through those trials, knowing that God uh, is there. Um, only goodness and kindness will follow us all the days of our life, and of course, we will walk in the house of the Lord for years to come. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.